This was the scene moments after Ukrainian troops were ambushed just outside the eastern city of Kramatorsk. Medics treat soldiers' wounds before airlifting them to safety. The Defence Ministry says a convoy of armoured trucks was attacked by dozens of pro-Russian separatists. Seven soldiers were killed. It was hard to understand what was going on. Shells started exploding, they were probably carrying those. Then there was shooting. People were walking through the fields with rifles and shooting. Total chaos. Helicopters were flying around. Dozens have been killed in recent weeks as Ukrainian forces try to regain control of parts of the east from pro-Russian separatists. Residents of Slavyansk, about 30 kilometres from Kramatorsk, are frightened. We've got used to military operations. It's scary when you sleep at night. But what can we do? Life goes on. We stand for our freedom, for our right to speak, for our right to choose, because nobody has been listening to us here for quite a while. The government in Kiev, meanwhile, is launching the first round of talks aimed at de-escalating the crisis. After a minute's silence in Parliament to honour the dead soldiers, politicians began preparing for the talks, which will cover constitutional amendments, the decentralisation of power and the emotive issue of making Russian the second official language. The roundtable talks will include politicians and regional leaders and is part of a peace plan proposed by the OSCE. But representatives of the pro-Russian separatists in the East are not invited and critics say that means any real progress will be difficult. Russia is backing the plan while Kiev has been more cautious, saying Ukraine can find its own way out of the crisis. But as the death toll on both sides continues to grow, the calls to expedite the process become louder.